Good afternoon, believers. Good afternoon, Israel. All right. I have a few minutes before the basketball game starts, so I want to do... Um, I came in to the truck. I opened the Bible to see if there was anything. We went into um, these foolish... Uh, these foolish false teachers this morning. Heavenly Father, bless the message. Bless my brothers and sisters on my channel. The ones that have come to hear your word through one of your prophets, through one of your children. Because they are children and they're seeking you. Just like I am. We come before you with a humble, contrite spirit. We, we want to know you better. We want to know how you move, what, what you're moving towards, how we fit into the story. So we follow your word, your truth, your light, your way. Back to you through your son, Jesus Christ, your only begotten son. Amen. So, um, I opened to Romans and it, at the beginning of Romans, it, Paul has some interesting things to say about who God is, who Jesus Christ is, who we are in him. And he doesn't mince words. He pretty much just lays it out plain. And I'm going to point out some things to you so we can break down this false nonsense that idiots like GMS, Tahar, Gabar, these black Hebrew ignorites, they tend to say things that um, are blasphemous and corruptible they don't say it very often but their belief system is that Joseph is the father of, of Jesus and that's God God is the father of Jesus and they they even bring up the scripture to um to muddy the waters and this is where you got to know that um, there's regeneration of the spirit and that's what Jesus did he resurrected to show us that the spirit dies and lives again that's what resurrection was all about he read he resurrected he i should probably should look that word up um resurrection um he actually came back as the same not that he doesn't he didn't look exactly the same they didn't recognize him. When, when he was in his glorified body, even though he resurrected and walked among men again, that was an example of like us being spirits of the Lord, being apostles, being children of the Lord. We're here, but we're only here for certain reasons. We're here to make a point about uh, who God is what the what the bible means and these type of things so i'm going to just read so you, we can get a feel for it um romans 1 1 paul's salutation he's he's um opening the book with a salutation to his people paul a servant of jesus christ called to be an apostle separated onto the gospel of god who's god the i am the eternal i am the the precious heavenly father who created our only his only begotten son our brother jesus christ who is solomon in the regeneration which he had promised afore by his prophets in the holy scriptures which he had promised afore by his prophets in the holy scriptures that's from what i can tell that's reckoning referring back to when in jeremiah um the lord told jeremiah i will make you i will make you another man I probably should have got that before we started. I'm not sure where it's at, but um, <clears throat> as for me, this is my covenant with them, said the Lord, my spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in your mouth shall not depart out of your mouth, nor out of the mouth of your seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed seed said the Lord from henceforth and forever that's an example of what he told Paul that 
um, you are going to be separated for my sake. You're going to be separated to speak my word. You're going to be separated to have a ministry, have a mission, right? So it says, um, concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Lord, not Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, not that nonsense Phoenician witchcraft name that these black Hebrew ignorites give, give our Lord. That's not him. They're worshiping another God. They're worshiping someone that's not even in the Bible. There is no Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakakwadash, Kwam Yasharala, bullshit, Barak, thumb up your ass, bullshit in the Bible. It's not in there. And he, glared, and he declared to be the Son of God with power. Concerning his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. Made, he was born of the seed of David. He was born onto David. He is the Son of David. He is the seed of David, not the seed of Joseph. And then it says, according to the flesh. He was born Solomon and he came back as Jesus Christ. He was born of David and became and was Solomon of the seed line, but the flesh is of David and Mary when he came back. And declared to be the Son of God with power according to the Spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. So this word resurrection, resurrection. The reason we know he wasn't born of Joseph is because there, there has been no man resurrected besides him. So when we think of resurrection, this is how we know these guys are idiot liars, punks, pricks, um, total deceivers monkey brains, false prophets, whatever you call them. I'm going to try not to call them dumb niggas because that's kind of getting worn out. We know that. They, they're, they're deceiving people. They're evil, wicked. So, there's my friends. Oh, Funny. Anyway, anyway, let me continue. By whom we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations. Among all nations. That's another that's another space in time where these guys are like bugged out of their mind. All nations. Paul was an apostle. He was a minister of God to all nations. So if you ever hear these black Hebrew ignorites telling you that the Gentiles can't be saved and, and it's only Israel and all that, they're just, they're just um, hard-hearted Negroes that um, know that they're going to get destroyed, so they're trying to make sure that you get destroyed too. And to that, all that are in robe, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, The Lord our Father, God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. He is God and Lord. He is not Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all that your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. For God is my witness, who unto I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, the only begotten Son, the only Son of God, the only Son that was ever born of the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, our Savior, not Son of Joseph. Get it through your heads. A hundred times I'll say it. A hundred times it's true. Not till the end of the world. It is always going to be the same truth. The Lord was born of the Spirit of God. That's where we get the power. So these guys are wasting their time. They're wasting their voice. They're wasting their effort talking about things that aren't true. It's just not true. They don't have any any reality in their gospel. Their doctrine is false. They're false prophets. They're false teachers. Um, and I make mention of you always in my prayer, making requests if by any means now, at length, I might have a prosperous journey by the will of God to come onto you. And that's what I'm saying. I'm hoping this journey 
that we're taking together. I hope at some point the prosperity will grow. It'll be a prosperous time together that you're going to understand through repetition and through new wine and old wine. There's always going to be something new to think of. Um, in these scriptures, we're gonna have, we're, we figure out what it means to be coming back here every time. Why are we back here every time? Because we're here to defend the gospel against these wicked Hebrew Is Israelites. For as long, for I long to see you that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift. To the end, it may be established. That is, that I may be comforted together with you by the mutual faith, both you and both you and me of both you and me so we have this mutual faith we know what we know and if we know regeneration we know Jesus is the son of God and we know the Gentiles are our glory if you're Israel and if you are a Gentile if you're a churchy you are to follow Israel into the kingdom you're going to be the beauty the glory that that the Lord Jesus Christ shines on his love for your belief that he is the son of God and these things all fit together like a puzzle it's not it's not hard to understand it's not rocket science it's pretty simple all it is is a belief system do you believe you're on a spinning wet ball rocket flying through space no the Bible never says that it says this place is immovable it's it has a firm foundation it will not be moved so how could it be spinning and flying through space if it will not be moved we didn't come from monkeys because the Lord said he created us in his image. He didn't create us in the image of no monkeys. Are there dinosaurs? I've never seen any dinosaurs. Only in someone's vain imagination. What else? Giants. There's some big men, but there's no, there's no fucking, it was, it was metaphorical people for someone who had bigger bigger spiritual power it wasn't the giants weren't that so anyways um now i would not have you ignorant brethren that oftentimes i purposed to come to you but was let here hitherto that i might have some fruit among you also even as among other gentiles paul wants to give you good fruit he wants to give you good figs he has a basket full of good figs that no one wants and that's what I'm trying to give to you and that's what you should be trying to give to other people tell people don't eat those figs from those black Hebrew niggerites those pro those kids from the projects those GMO babies that don't know their God from their left foot <clears throat> they're gonna feed you bad figs you're gonna get sick and die it's like the tree of good and evil. They are the evil. Um, the just shall live by faith. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. There is a prime example of a Benjamite apostle, a prophet, Paul the apostle, telling you straight up, what we're here to do the just shall live by faith for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes to the Jew first and also to the Greek so when it says fruit I'm not going to go into it because it doesn't really say but you know what the good fruit is we've gone into that a hundred times it's that field it's that it's that grove of figs are you walking into a dead grove of figs? It's easy for these fools to, what would you say? They're, they can fool you into thinking that it's, that it's good figs by, you, you, you never really go up and eat one. They're like, yeah, look at all the figs we have here. And it's a big field of dead figs. And it's dark and it's, it smells weird. It doesn't smell, it doesn't smell like healthy fruit, right? So he's given the fruit to the Jew first and then the Greek. Why is he saying that? It's not because these Greeks are 
Hellenized Jews. They're a whole different people. They're churches. They're Greeks. He doesn't say to the Jew and then the, the half Jew or the, the, the Samaritan Jew. He says Greek. Gentile. So then it goes in, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. What faith do we have to have? Slavia. We have to have the faith that Jesus Christ was the Son of God. Period. Son of Joseph, are you out of your fucking mind, GMS? You wicked fuckers, man. Man. What's your fucking problem? You guys are wicked, man. You're devils, GMS. Tahar. You ever hear his voice? You ever listen to his videos lately? <laughs> Sounds like someone's fucking choking on a big fat devil cock. <laughs> Kevin. Um, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. They're holding it and they're saying that they have it. We've got 100% truth according to the Bible. They don't have it. That's not true. That, that's not true. No one has 100% truth according to the Bible. It's faith that we have, not truth. True, he is the truth, the way, and the life. We believe in the book, and we follow the book. That's the truth. They don't follow the book. They add all kinds of things onto it, and they make a fucking a shit pie out of it. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. It's talking about these wicked fuckers. For God has showed it onto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made, even as eternal power in the Godhead, so that they are without excuse. There's no excuse for these guys. There's no excuse for these guys. At the end of the day, they're not going to... The Lord's going to go, Hey, what's up? They're going to go, Hey, yeah, I was shy. And he's going to go, What? Who are you talking to? He doesn't know them. They don't he doesn't know them and they don't know they don't know Jesus. They know some God that isn't even in the Bible. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. This this person that they call the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, that's who's that? They don't I don't know him. My father isn't named Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, suck my dick, could Rakakwadash. Lies. It's not my I don't believe in lies. I believe in the truth. I believe in the word that, that comes out of the Bible. It never says Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai anywhere in the Bible, so there's that. Um, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. That's what we talked about this this morning. The foolishness of being dumb. You're foolish. You're dumb. You're dull. You're a dullard. You're deceived. You're blinded. And you can't speak the truth because you're, you're, it's unable. The truth is unable to come out of you because you don't know the truth. The Lord has put a dumb spirit on these guys. And that's what we were talking about this morning. The the dumb spirit is going to ruin so many people. And so if you if you want to help people, bring them out of this this negro centric devil cult bullshit that Satan has set up to deceive people. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. They became dumb by by going out and, and believing what what um, I forget some of the, the elder apostles that were above 
Rakar and, and Tahar and these guys, um, Ashaya and I, it doesn't matter to me. They're they're nothing to me. They're they're lying devils. But they had men telling them these things, and they believed it, and they believed that Joseph is a, and they believe the white man's the, the wicked Edomite, and they believe they believe all this wicked lies that their fathers, their teachers, their their fa their false apostle brethren told them. Professing themselves to be wise, wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God. That's the God of. That that's Jesus, the God, the Son of God, the Son of the incorruptible God. The, he's of spirit. They changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like a corruptible man. That's the Son of Joseph. They want their God to be a, a John Shaft. They want him to be fucking um, any of these other Sammy Davis Jr. They want him to be fucking Morgan Freeman. They just want him to be another fucking black dude off the corner. God is a black dude standing on the corner. God's a black dude that's in movies. God's a black dude that played football. God's a black dude that played basketball. God is it, God is a black man. Jesus is a black man. He sells dope on the corner. I don't think so. Not my God. Shouldn't be your God either. And to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own heart. They want to be prophets. They want to be Israel. They want to be me, but they can't be me. They'll never be me. They've proven that they're not, they, they're not Israel. They've proven that they're not of God. They've proven that they're of corruptible seed. They've proven that they're nasty, profane, perverted, mind-fucked imbeciles. Third-grade dropouts from the projects. Ghetto. Neighborhoods, full-blown oppressed, depressed, and fucking incest, incensed, um, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who turn the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the Creator who is blessed forever. Amen. That's it. That's all you got. That's all you got to know. What more do you need to know? Tahar, you fucking asshole. Gabar, fuck you too. Aramlob, you cocksucker. I hate you devils, man. You devils are gonna... You devils are... The Lord's gonna destroy you guys. The Lord is gonna... Sh hang you by your toes and watch the blood drip out your nose until you're just a skeleton. You guys are... You guys are heading for complete annihilation. You're, you guys got, you're probably the Edomites. That's why. There's no, there's no recourse for you guys. I'm telling you right now. Adonijah, son of David. I know what the book says. I don't change the book to suit my little vain Negro imagination. I'm an Israelite. We speak the truth. J.D. Nigel, word of truth. Keep these things in your in your mind and your in your heart, people. These guys are out to destroy as many as they can. They're going into the pit and they want to drag you into it with them. Don't fall for it. J.D. Nigel, word of truth. Go. Go Miami Heat, I'm out.